This playthrough is rated T for teen. Green salutation viewers, Waldemar here with East Book 2 and the final episode of the game. Last time, we thought we thought uh, Maria had been killed, but then, due to poor writing, or fate, or magical MacGuffin, she was saved. And we got the magical sword from Seda, who we, uh, who we gave the sword to, but he still didn't know Maria's alive. Hopefully, by the end of this, he'll find out. We also got the armor from his father. We unlocked the core of the ancient east, and now we got a barrier before us. Oh, we also killed Dallas. Kind of pathetic boss, really, when you think about it. But then again, I was overleveled. Anyway, we gotta get past this place to get to the two goddesses and whatever else is in here. Let's see where else we can go to. Follow. Black shadow was seen darting off the hop up the head. Perhaps this will help us get past the barrier. Let us follow. Someone was just here. Who? What the? Was it you? Wait, you're Lilia. What are you doing here? How d how did you get? Ah, forget it. Ah, I'm never even gonna try to understand how people got here, even though I had to go through all this work to get there. Ah, wait all. My goodness, it's so great to see that you're all right. I'm sorry if I made you worry. After all, I was turned back. I got an overwhelming urge to see you, as if I were being drawn here. You're like an annoying sidekick, Lily, you know, walking off when you weren't supposed to, getting in trouble, you know, surprised you didn't get killed. But that's not the only reason. I just felt like I needed to be useful in some way. But before I knew it, here I was. I was able to come all this way without any demon spotting me, and I believe this ring made it possible. When I was searching for you in the subterranean canal, I met two girls, and they gave it to me. They said, if you find the one you seek, please give this to her. Clearly, you're the one they met, so please take this ring. I believe it will be crucial in your quest. Proceed the goddess ring, oh my, how god, how'd you find it? Oh wait, the goddess gave it to her now. Yeah, we know it's the goddess, sorry. I guess we can talk to her again real quick, just to... Perhaps that ring has the power to destroy the demon of Well, let's see what this ring does. Ooh, we got, like, one final thing to get in the game. And we need to get the shield, too. Say a ring. A ring worn by the goddess imbued with power to purify evil. Put that. That's probably what we need to get past the barrier. Actually, I think that's what she's... No, way. she just said that. Never mind. Hey, I found it. Some creepy lady gave it to me. Yeah, she's creepy. Wait, is that the goddess's ring? In my dream, one of the two girls who appeared to me was wearing that on her finger. If anything can break the barrier, it's the ri that ring right there. Give it a shot, man. Okay. La. I used a Wow, there was actually an animation where Adol raises his hand. Ooh. I guess those... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Actually, I activated the uh, time answer. Oh, that's neat. Anyway. I was like, those don't do anything. Alright, time to teleport. Let's see what this core has to offer. What will Adol find in there? A mystery? A magical history? Hey. Huh. Interesting. What the? Wait, this place actually looks familiar. Wait, this was in the last game. Weird. And there are the two goddesses. I'll save you, ladies. Hey, wait. That looks like uh, Fina and Rhea. Why are they here? The goddesses seem held in place, as if by an unfathomable, powerful energy. What the? Come on, ladies. We can get you out of there. How, though? Let's try going through the door. What the? All hail the power of darkness. All shall pray to the power of darkness. The goddesses have fallen to my strength, and their priests are dead. Humankind has lost its protectors. Now all shall kneel before me. Seven hundred years ago, I was but a step from victory, when those dastardly goddesses sealed me away in the earth inky void. My countless years of imprisonment and all those nights of humiliation, endless and debilitating, have at long last come to an end. Now the promised moment is nigh, the moment when demon kind usurps man's place as masters of this world. That moment is here. My brothers, in blood and in arms, heed my call, children. 
Let us teach humanity the true meaning of terror. I don't think so, demon. Demon, you don't belong in this world. Oh, sorry. Sorry to ruin the moment. Yes, Jesus is now back where it belongs, and the priests are in attendance. Or did you forget that I'm a descendant of Tova? I'm sorry to be so late, Adol. Quickly, play the silver harmonica. Its sounds will remove the curse on the goddesses. What? It's Gohan. Go Gohan, or Goba. Goba and Lute Gemma? What are you two doing here? And we get the silver harmonica. Let us do it. Let us stop this creature. Mia! The silver harmonica. Ray is harmonica. Its clear temper has the power to sell evil. Play, Adol! Play! We did it with the power of music. Really? The power of music? Ah, whatever. Let's talk to the goddesses and see what what we can learn before before fighting this evil. Rhea. It is Rhea. What how'd you get here from the first game? I that there's kind of a little question about like what actually happened in the game. There's two coincidences. Either you just teleported to East, and that's what happened in the first game, or you teleported into the past, and this is East and somehow they connected together due to, like, some magic. I still don't know. I think it's the same time period, but I'm still not sure how they got here. Anyway. Adol, you have done well in getting us this far. I am Rada, goddess of East. When the demons were wiped out, we were the ones who buried the Claria deep within the ground. The Claria was born of the demons, you see, and of the magic, and we deemed its presence a hazard. Hundreds of years passed in tranquility until the day Claria was excavated, misidentified as silver. Because of the magic this released, Dark Fact was able to gain the edge he needed to break the seal. We do not have the strength to reseal the demons on our own, I'm afraid. We need the might of a swordsman to aid us in this, our darkest hour. We must somehow destroy the Black Pearl. Please, wear my ring during the fight. It will weaken the demon. Okay, thank you, Rhea. What about you, Fina? Fina, the lady who had the hots for me in the previous game. Apparently, a, a goddess has the huts for Adol. That doesn't make sense because he's a blank slate, but whatever. Writing. Oh, Adol. Yeah, I've been hoping I would see you again. It's me, Vena. I'm sorry for not telling you the truth before. That I am actually one of the twin goddesses of East. Didn't you have amnesia? Isn't that why you actually didn't know? So you shouldn't feel sorry for that part. Or you purposely lied about that, then that's different. Using magic to see away the demons guaranteed that the seal would eventually be broken. Its magic itself is not eradicated. This land will never know true peace. Beyond this portal lies a giant black pearl, which is the true source of all magic in East. That is the demon's secret. I will imbue your blade with the concentrated power of the land of East. So now the silver sword will get an upgrade. Mecha like a high, mecha hiney, ho! Abracadabra! Benverine Palvazine, turned to the size of a lima bean. Nope, now we've opened the final door to the final confrontation of the game. Anything past this point is endgame, folks. You cannot go back after you enter that door. So anything you want to do, gift any people, fill the bestiary out. Um, a few minor notes. You can actually go back to some of the early villages. Everyone has completely new dialogue. Uh, East is, like, touched to the surface land, so now you can check other areas, find the surface there. Uh, you can go back to uh, Ramia and tell Seda that Mary's alive as well as uh, the lady's mother and had it if you want to. Um, buy the elixir if you have the money. It will help you in the final fight. Um, I'm trying to remember uh, if there's anything else. Um, just make sure you've got the silver sword. Out of all things, the silver sword is completely required for this move, so make sure you got that from Seda. Um, oh, by the way, uh, Luke get there has the shield. If you don't talk to him, you can miss it for the final battle. So you could have just ran on in, and there you go. So if you want to complete your armor, talk to Luke. Hey, Luke. Adol, where have you been? It's me, Luke Gemma. I bought, you, I brought you the Claria shield. I think you'll need it in the coming fight. Well, thank you, Luke. 
Da da da. Get the final item in the game. This is the, maybe the last battle between demons and humans. Peace is within our grasp. Okay. Now let's clip that. We'll max out all of our stats. Hooray! Um. Okay. Now you can actually gift loot, Goban, and the two goddesses. There's no reason to really gift Rhea or the other two. If you gift uh, Fina, and for some reason you don't have your full life or HP, she'll actually fill up your HP if you gift her three times, which I will do here in a second. Uh, let's talk to Goban, see if he has anything to say. This is the final battle. Everything hinges upon you, my friend. Do not falter. Anything else you got to say? Uh, nope, says the same thing. How about you, Lou? Do you have anything to say? Uh, let's uh, see. No, okay, nothing there. Um, uh, Fina, do you have any last... Adolf, please be safe. Yep, she says that. Reina, Rhea, this is this is to be the final battle. All right, so I'm going to gift them really quick just to kind of show you like what little dialogues they have. So uh, let's go ahead and... Actually, I want to save it first just to kind of have a final save area spot in the game. Like I said, you don't have to do you don't have to give Fina, but I want to show you the Oh right, uh, I forgot one more thing. After talking to Maria in here, like I did in the last episode, if you go back to her village, you can actually go to her bed where uh, her mom's house, go to her bed and sleep in it, just like the other three girls in the game. Or was it four? Let's see, I think it's only one, two, three. I think it's just three. Anyway, you can actually, or no, it's four. Anyway, you can actually rest in Maria's bed, and he does the same. He does the preferred thing as before, and you'll get the achievement for sleeping in all of their beds. So there's that as well. Anyway, let's uh, get Fina three things. Is this for me? Thank you, Adol. Will you ever be able to forgive us for forcing Destiny's hand and placing this burden on your shoulders? No. Because we never meet you again in future storylines of East Games. Meh. Uh, true, I don't think you ever run across them ever again in the in future games. You're giving this to me? Thank you, Adol. You haven't changed a bit all this time. The best gift you could ever give me is to stay just the way you are. This is to be the final battle. Please come back to me alive. I'll be waiting for you. And the final one, which will heal you. You're giving me this to me? Thank you. This is just about all I can give you in return, I'm afraid. Close your eyes and clear your thoughts. May the final confrontation be won swiftly. Yep, see, she heals you. A warm surge of energy passes from Fina's body into Adol, filling him with strength. This is the end, the final battle. Please come back to me alive, Adol. I'll be waiting. As long as it takes, I will wait for you. Alright, and then I'll uh, go ahead and... Uh, give uh, um, Ray a couple, just see what she says. Is this for me? Thank you, Adol. You've helped the two of us in so many ways. And you're a real virtuoso with the harmonica, too. Please keep it as my gift to you. It's the least I can do. I notice you don't get much dialogue from people unless you gift them. Then you actually get a little bit of details into the personalities. Is this for me? Thank you, Adol. We pulled you into a struggle for the land, not your own. I'm truly sorry for that. This battle with Darn may prove to be the most intense of all you have faced thus far. We entrust our full power to you. May vir victory and safe return be yours by whatever means necessary. And I'll give her a third one to see what she says. Is this for me? Thank you. Have you spoken with Fina yet? You've been all she could talk about ever since her imprisonment. If you haven't yet, please do so. May you stand firm and your courage never falter in the coming battle, Adol. I pray for your safety and victory. She's basically saying, Fina's the one who has the hots for you. Why do you keep talking to me? I'm like, because I like the girls that don't obviously show affection for me. Dang it. All right. Let's see what Lou has to say. Thank you, Adol. So, have you equipped the clary shield I gave you? Don't forget now. Today marks the end of your uh, of our 700-year ordeal. I have faith that when all is said and done, this world will finally know true peace. No more demons or monsters. Except in the other games, there's still monsters and demons. So, you know, that doesn't really change much, apparently. The final battle is at hand. Stand firm, Adol. Although the other games don't really tie much into this one in the first place, anyway. Thank you, Adol. Please don't feel obligated, though. It's my duty to bring you the clear shield. And compared to almost all that has been before us, it seems almost silly. Save your gifts. Give them to Fina after battle ends. Right now, you need to stay focused. No, no, I want to give you another apple. Thank you, Adol. Please don't feel obligated, though. It's my duty. Uh, did he repeat that? Um, uh, oh, okay. Eh, well, you know. And let's give, uh, and since we don't need herbs for the final battle. Huh? For, huh? For me? Uh, thanks, but you should be focused on the battle ahead. Which reminds me, did you get the clarity shield from Luda? If not, then I recommend you talk to him right away. Without it, you'll be in for a very short battle indeed. Get to it, Adol. We believe in you. You can actually beat the main guy without the shield, but it's preferable to get it. Hey now, this is no time to stand around handing out gifts. 
I appreciate the thought, I really do, but you need to get ready to take down that demon. Do you have all of the Clary equipment? You should also equip the Goddess's Ring and an Elixir. How does he know about the unique item in the game? Eh, yeah, whatever. Last but not least, don't forget to prepare your shield magic. Do as proud, man. Alright, let's see if you have anything else to say for the family. What does this look like, a baby shower? Get that gift-bearing ass of yours to the final boss already. What, you want some words of wisdom? Fine, when you make your preparations, check your wits and your equipment. Don't mess up, Adol. Do as proud. Alright, here we go, folks. The final area of the game. Silver sword. Actually, did I uh, read the silver? Oh, uh, let's read them. Claria sword, the strongest sword of all. Its blade glows, suffused with the magic of Claria. The Claria shield, a shield of Claria, offers the top rate defense along with the goddess's blessings. Claria armor, Claria armor, stronger than any other, worn by he who is chosen by the goddesses. Also, equip the magic shield. Uh, it's not necessary, but definitely helps for the final fight. Uh, and the goddess ring. The goddess ring gives you a minor boost in strength and defense. Also, the main the main bad guy will randomly pause in his attack. In the, every once in a while in the thing, so it's uh, definitely suggested. Other than that, uh, equip the... the re I suggest, if you don't have the uh, money for it, equip the Celsetta Flower. You just have to remember to use it before you die. Um, but if you equip the Elixir, you will die, and it automatically uses it. So And it only uses it when you die, so you don't have to worry about your health too much. So, At least for the gist of it. Alright, here we go. Or the ancients indeed. Come, demon, whoever you truly are, we shall take you on. Yep, well, you can't go back after that now, can you? Okay, technically that was the end all to beat all as soon as you step on that, but shh, don't quote me on it. Hello, evil demon man. We meet for the first time for the last time. I am Darm. I am the source from which magic and demon kind of like were formed. My power is that which created East. And my power alone can sustain it. I shall consume your very soul, and you shall know true despair. For final boss time against Darm himself, the uh, oh ah. Okay. Ah. Watch out, Darm. He's gonna get you. He's gonna just whack on you a couple times. No, uh oh, oh. Yeah, I'm kind of sucking it up when it comes to the. Uh, by the way, shield magic? Yeah, he can't hurt me. Uh, well, I mean, my MP will take a hit for sure, but, uh... Alright, I yeah, gotta wait for him to get back down. Um... From what people said, Darm's not a ridiculously hard villain to fight. Um... Okay, that's a big sweep. Can I hit him okay. Whoa! Whoa! Holy crap! Ah! Okay, now to be careful, you can actually hurt me now. Because my shield magic wore up. Ah! Whoa! Holy crap! Oh, crap! Okay, whoop. That, I'm about to die, so... Stupid me. Alright. Yeah, I died. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have, uh... By the way, that, that thing does, like, a lot of damage to your shield, so be careful. I'm, I'm actually almost dead. <laughs> or not almost... You know what I mean. Is that it? Did I finish him? Oh, he gained a couple levels, too. Wow! Alright! We beat Darm! Hooray! Wait, what the? Where's all my magic going? Hey! Get back here! No! Adol was greeted with a sea of smiling faces. The goddesses Lilia and the descendants of the six priests were there. Mr. Adol! You did it, man! And guess what? Turns out I'm a descendant of one of the six priests myself! Oh, boo! Boo! I'm sorry, that... 
Priest Hadal was my ancestor. Kind of cool, huh? The whole time you were fighting, I was praying that you'd be able to banish the Black Pearl from this world. Then I heard a shattering sound, and I knew you'd done it. I knew everything was going to be all right. It'd all be peaceful like it was before. Finally, everyone can live in a world free from the torment of demons. I should be happy, but I can't stop crying. Tarf, please don't cry. If you do, you'll get me started too, and then I won't be able to stop. Sorry, I can't do female voices, folks, but I'll try my best. My name is Maria Mesa. The blood of the priest Mesa runs through my veins. The demon offered up sacrifices in hopes of tracking down and killing the descendants of the priests. Darm knew what the goddesses were planning, and he feared they might succeed as well as he should have. I'm sure the only reason I'm still alive after the sacrificial ceremony is because of the priest's bracelet. Peace has returned, but at the cost of more lives than I care to imagine. I'm going to build a monument in the Campanile camp of Lane to commemorate all who sacrificed you. So apparently you're a descendant too, aren't you? Hey, all my boy, you did it! You really did it! My last name is Dabby. I guess Priest Dabby is an ancestor of mine. Who knew? The goddess has told me in a dream to come here. When I first met you in Ramia Village, I just somehow just had this feeling. I knew you'd be the one to guide us, the one to lead us into a new age of peace and prosperity. It's amazing. At long last, East has been set free to this ancient curse. It's like a whole new beginning for us. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I'm babbling, but I'm just so excited. In any case, I can't wait to get back home. Now that the shrine's free of demons, old man Reg will flip his lid. Hey, doll, it's me, Keith. I am no longer a demon, so I apologize if my appearance su uh, surprises you. The magic has vanished from the land, and with it, so too, has the curse placed upon me. When I was in prison and burned and blessed, I lost myself in reverie. I remembered when my sister was killed by the demons. I remembered what she said to me that evening six months ago, the day she was taken from this mortal coil. It was like her blood has sustained the sunset, and as the life slipped from her body, she struggled to speak. And with her dying breath, she said to me, I pity the demons. At the time, I simply didn't understand. I was consumed by sorrow and rage at her loss, so the idea of pity towards demons seemed like nonsense. But now that I've been a demon myself, I think I understand. Back in Burn Bless, when I held the Black Pearl in my demonic hand, I was overcome with dark desires. Demons are controlled by a bottomless well of evil intent. They are incapable of creation, and all they all are, and all they know, is destruction. But Marley loved to create. She loved it more than anything, and she pitied the demons for what they lacked. My apologies. I don't mean to bring down the mood. This is no time for talk, for such depressing talk. This is the time for celebration. We have overcome the greatest disaster we've ever faced. And we have you to thank for that, Adol. Words can I express our gratitude, my, my gratitude. <laughs> Adol, you really done it. I was standing in front of Darm Tower, and I saw its summit engulfed in light. And then you shot into the sky. Due to the finality of your victory. I feel certain that Hysteria will see many changes soon. Positive changes. Without the shadow of the demons looking over us, people can stand again on their own two feet. Now we can begin rebuilding. We have control over our lives once again. You are the one who reclaimed that right for us from the demons. Adol, what you have accomplished here is the true definition of heroism. Please stand with us here in Hysteria. Stay with us. We need your courage to help us rebuild this ravaged land. We need you to keep us on the right path. You did it, Adol! Like everyone else, I had a really odd dream before coming here myself. In it, the goddesses appeared before me and told me that East was returning to the surface, and I was to go to the shrine. I woke up and looked up, and there it was, the land of East, right in front of my eyes. I had to run like mad, and I just barely made it in here in time for that final battle of yours. So, Adol, the magic that spawned the demons was the same magic that kept East afloat, correct? What an astounding power. It was made for our prosperity, and so quickly became a part of our everyday lives that ultimately it controlled us. And by relying so heavily on the power of magic, we sowed the seeds of our own undoing. It really makes you think. Everyone owes you an amazing debt of gratitude, Adol. Thank you. 
You brought peace back to East. Congratulations! You truly become a legend in your own time. Dogie's really eager to see you again, by the way. What, does he have a man crush on me? Yeesh, calm down, buddy. Then again, it is a fantasy world, so, you know, that's, that's a little bit more okay. Adol, I'm so glad you're alright. When you were in the midst of the final battle, I thought my heart was going to explode. Maybe it did, and I somehow came back to life. If you have something to say, now's the time, little lady. I, I, um, I, I... Govan, you're mean. Uh, Adol, don't worry. I'm really very happy to see you. Very, very happy. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lilia. I've got two goddesses that like me, and one of them particularly fancies me. I'm sorry. After 700 years of separation, the people of East and Hysteria and the rest of the world can reunite as one. Many glorious days await, far more now than ever before. From this time forward, there will be no need of goddesses or priests. One by one, all will become to believe in themselves in this new age. The two of us will see to it that the magic brought about by the Black Pearl will never be revived again. We will watch over the land to make sure this peace endures. We will never forget you or what you've done for us, Adol. You have our eternal and dying gratitude. I think we're third wheels here. We should probably let ourselves out. Good thought, Maria. Adol, we're going to head back. Why is everyone giving Fina the uh, the the uh, the look of we should let them be by themselves? Like why not Lilia? Why not Rhea? Lilia, you can tell, is kind of jealous. Really, she's like, mm -hmm. I can't be the goddess. And there's Rhea. She's gonna give us a wink too. Oh, she winked at me. I want you, Rhea. Come back. No, I don't want the clingy one. I'm sorry. I'm ruining the ending of this game. By the way, Fina, you're never introduced to any of the other games, so I don't know why we're having a forced romance here, by the way. There's so much I want to say. I, I don't even know where to begin. After you rescued me from the depths of the shrine, I stayed at Jebba's house for a short while. I feel like I understand everything now. I never knew so many wonderful people lived in this world. There's no real need for goddesses or priests. Now, even the floating land of East will be a thing of the past, as Asteria becomes whole again. I have so many happy memories from my time here, but the best will always be the time I spent with you. I want you to know that more than anything else. During the time I spent with you, I truly felt human. I must go. Ray is waiting for me. I hope that you'll think of me from time to time, and when you do, I hope you remember me as a girl, not as a goddess. Fare thee well.
And that's the end of, uh, I thought I'd wait for that little scene in the music to play, but uh, that's the end of East Book 2. Uh, Adol has saved the land of East, restored Hysteria, and everything's back to normal. And basically demons are either, if not gone, have been pacified by the death of Darm, whatever it is. That's the one problem I have with this game is Darm is almost never mentioned as like this villain until like the very end of the game. And you see him like in a brief cutscene at the beginning of this game. Each one of your typical villains that just pop at the last villain that goes, I'm the villain. You're like, oh, come on, game. But overall, that's not that's not that big of a deal. It's I mean, based on when this was made anyway, you're like, yeah, whatever, that's fine. It's like, it's like Ganon. Well, actually, no, Ganon was actually talked about throughout the whole game. Anyway, so yeah, that was Ease 2. Uh, I, I actually like this one a little bit better than the previous game, weirdly enough, uh, because it's longer. Uh, uh, see the Fina and Adol stare off into the distance as uh, as I look at the completed hysteria. East is no longer a unique society all on its own. Ah, uh, Adol breaking the hearts of late the Japanese ladies everywhere. Two goddesses and a girl like that. And of course, if you play other games of the series, basically they keep uh, each of them up there. So. There's the two goddesses there keeping. I don't know what they're doing actually, because they say they don't need I need a goddess anymore, right? So you have to see them. Uh, the spirit. I guess they either became human or something like that. Oh well. And that's the end of the game. I preferred it much over the first game uh, by a lot. Music was great. Uh, areas you could go to, all the different items, characters. I prefer it much, and I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.